very unique conifer tree before me and I'm seeing this conifer tree for the first time when I looked at the branches it has needle like leaves cone I could not see but first look I felt as if it is some kind of cedrus because needle are born in clusters as we find in cedrus deodara in India but on closer look and also the name plate tagged with it reflected that it is though superficially looking like cedrus cedar in fact this has some qualities of a larch also but it is not larix as it looks like ebs and cedrus so it has been named as pseudo larix so it is a kind of false larch it is a deciduous conifer it will shed its leaves during autumn but before falling its needles they will look golden yellow and because of golden yellow look of this false large pseudolarix species amabilis popularly it is known as golden larch it is not a native to North America in fact this pseudolarix species amabilis is native to China whereas in North America Washington state and British Columbia there was another pseudolarix species but that is known only from the Eocene fossils. No surviving tree exists anywhere on this planet. Uh, Larix, in fact, is known by three species, and two species are already extinct. One was Pseudolarix japonica again extinct and another American pseudolarix that is also extinct so only surviving species under the genus pseudolarix is this one which has unique morphology there are long shoots and short shoots on the short shoots needles are born in burls they are clustered Whereas in case of long shoots, needles are quite spaced and they are born in a spiral fashion. Pseudolarix amabilis, as the name signifies, it's very decorative, especially during winters, during autumn season, and this is selected conifer for landscaping parks and gardens it stands introduced even in lincoln park zoo and this particular tree i am showing you is from lincoln park zoo which is focusing not only on zoo keeping zoo animals but they have done a excellent and extraordinary job in preserving the very unique lesser known threatened species across the globe so this is a Chinese pseudolarix amabilis and in China as per traditional medicine its bark and root are also used against fungal infections skin diseases but in Chicago city it has decorative value and unique thing about it pseudo Larix amabilis is male cones 
are born in umbilate clusters and from a distance they look like Nitum, Melcons are some kind of mulberry. Pollen cones, they are called as male cones and they grow in umbels. Another unique feature of the Pseudolarix amabilis golden larch is female cones, they are unlike pine cones or abyss cones or citrus cones, but they look more like a Globati chok that is called a Sainara buds. If you are familiar, even in Kashmir we have the Sainara scolimus plant and which is edible. And the cones look like the birds of Patichok. Like uh, Ibis and Citrus Diodara Dildar, its cones also do not fall as one piece rather scales are shed one by one it gets disintegrated on maturity and its scales are triangular in outline and this Sedolarix amabilis is the only species surviving today on this planet earth other two species extinct and this will be more decorative after a month when autumn season is at its peak at that time its golden look will add more color and charm to the onlookers and to the landscape of Chicago city and especially Lincoln or Zoo Shrubbery.